I'm Richard Vobes, TV's bald explorer, and I'm discovering Britain. It's places, myths, legends and traditions. And this time, I'm in Lewis, in East Sussex. Apparently, they really do chuck their toads down a hole. Well, it all looks very simple. So why not join me to find out more? Lewis is the rural county town of East Sussex. It's elegant, picturesque, contains some fabulous architecture and full of independent shops. It's also famed for the battle here in 1264, the short-term residency of author Thomas Paine and its very unusual pub game. I popped down to the Lewis Arms to find out more. As I understand it, before the 70s, uh, most areas in Britain had games like this. You had uh, Toad in the Hole, Shove Hapney, there's a few that have survived. Like that, like uh, Bar Billiards, uh, there's Ring the Bull where you have a, a ring on a string and you swing it and try and get it onto. A... There's lots of games like that everywhere. Uh, and then in the 70s, um, darts became a phenomenon on television. Um, and so all the pubs realised that darts didn't take up any room. So they got rid of all the games like Toad in the Hole and like Bar Billiards and those sort of games and replaced them with darts so they could get more tables in and more people. Basically you have four toads, these are toads, they're brass coins, uh, and you throw them from about eight feet away, same distance as a darts board, so you can use, often they sit under the darts board and you use the Oki. Um, you get two points if it goes in the hole, one point if it lands on the top, and no points if at any point it hits the back or goes on the floor. So if one hits the back and goes in the hole, it's nothing. But if it, you know, if it, if it, if you knock another one in, then that's two points because the other one is in the hole but it didn't hit the back. So that's pretty much all there is. And then you play down from 31 like ducks. Yeah, it looks, it look, it's deceptively simple. I think that um, when you play a lot and you play in the league and the, the big competitions we have around here, it's noticeable that the same people win over and over again. Um, so I think the really good players, I think it is very skillful. But it's quite easy to get to the point where, you know, you can average a decent score. But to get from averaging four points, which would be all four scoring on the top, to say averaging six points is quite a big, big leap. It's quite easy to get from two points to four, but quite hard to get from four to six. I would say 20 years ago, uh, there were probably only maybe 10 tables that you could play in, uh, play on, uh, in the area. And because it's only played in the area, that means anywhere. World Championships is held uh, in April in the Town Hall in Lewis. There's, uh, I think, sometimes eight, sometimes 12 tables uh, between, I think, 40 something like 46 and 92 teams, it varies, of four. Uh, there's a t Holland enter a team, although realistically, uh, Ron is the only one who's been to Holland. Uh, they, uh, they, <laughs> and they wear orange shirts. He's called Dutch Ron because he's from Holland. The simple answer is that there are probably four now, I would say, because it's grown over the last 10 years, there are probably 40 active tables in the country and 36 of them are within a 15 mile radius of Lewis. Join me again next time when I explore more of Britain's heritage.